Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Need for Speed Payback. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today we're getting the abandoned Plymouth Barracuda. Let's get to it. So for the week of April 17th and seven days after, you can get the Plymouth Barracuda abandoned car in a race form. Now, when you're running away from the cops to try to snag this car, you won't be able to rely on your nitrous. You'll have to rely on your skills running on the road, taking the curves, taking the straight lines, and getting there with as few bumps and bruises as you can. There are a decent number of options to make your Plymouth Barracuda look unique. And of course, you can always add decals to your Plymouth Barracuda to customize it even more. I quickly went through all the options that I could to show you what the differences were. Some of the areas only had one possibility like the roof and the trunk. Other ones had several different options to choose from to make it a little bit different. And of course, you can always customize the license plate. Now, once you go through all the options and you find the ones that look the best for a race type car for the Plymouth Barracuda, and there's lots and lots of options to choose from, especially when you're looking at the different rims and calipers and colors for the car and finishes. So you'll want to change out the original parts, obviously, to uh, even stock parts or uh, custom parts before you do anything else. Uh, you can change the color, the paint color before the wrap, before you change it, but you won't really be able to see how it changes until you change those items on the car itself. And once you get everything to look the way that you want, then you're all set and you're ready to race. Now, how do you get the abandoned Plymouth Barracuda? Now, this week, it is in the top right corner of the map. There is a gas station that is right next to it. So if you fast travel to that gas station, and you'll see it on the map here, just go up to that top right gas station. Not all the way to the top, more to the right than the top. And it's right behind you when you fast travel in. Then your job is just to get it back. If you follow the path that the GPS takes you, you won't be able to take very many, if any, shortcuts because of the canyons, etc., where you have changes in level. So you won't be able to, uh, you know, give yourself a little shortcut by going through through the canyon or you know, uh, climb up the wall and and make it a little bit shorter. That would make it a lot easier, but it doesn't work that way. So if you don't take the path, you'll have to take another path that'll also take you kind of on a roundabout way to get back because there is no straight path to get back to the airport from that location because of the terrain, because the roads go up and down and in and out and you start off at a higher point and then you go down and then you go back up again so there's no uh, no shortcut that you'll be able to take or uh, you know time saver to get you to the airport any quicker so good luck getting away from the cops. Best thing to do is to stay out in front of them. Boost when they try to box you in. And make sure that when that EMP blast starts, 
that you smack that car hard. If you just tap them, it's still going to hit you. And you can't boost away once it starts. So if you boost away before he has a chance to start it, then you're okay. But once it starts, then you got to smack him. Or you have to deal with having no power and coming to a complete stall stop for a second or two. Which is going to put you into the danger zone when it comes to getting busted. Well, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Famous Barracuda. <laughs> Those classics are an ultra rare collector's item. Great way to drive in style.